Nick. Yo. It's your time to shine. Close this one out. Uh, Slam dunk it, as they say. Coming it's out in a while. Time. I've got this is. I've been. I'm waiting for this topic for a while since this person sent it to me on Twitter at Nick underscore Scarpino. If you have topics for the show, send them, send them my way, and maybe you'll get your topic on the show. Like B underscore Average Games says. Simply put, pie versus cake. Mm-hmm. Pie. Now I feel like this is the right before we before we go. This is the right season to be talking about this. Because we're headed straight into pumpkin pie season. Yeah. And pumpkin pie, man. I could just... All day. Breakfast, mm-hmm. lunch, and dinner. Pumpkin pie. 100%. Yeah. A little whipped cream. Why didn't you just say eat? <laughs> Why'd you make it weird? Because in, <laughs> in your headphones, it sounds so much dirtier when he's like... It's like... It's like... It's like... Oh, cool. I don't have headphones. So, okay. On, so, so, that, so that's been my <laughs> night of <laughs> jokes. See, he used to do that to me all the time on the podcast. <laughs> Cleanse your ears. You want some Q-tips? No, I'm good. I'm, I'm just going to go burn them. Fire. <laughs> oh man <laughs> Cheryl's a lucky woman I think <laughs> there's a time and a place for both mm-hmm. sure I'm not a big sweets guy that's not my that's not my food hold up obviously it's wings and it's pizzas and it's salty and it's terrible food like that sweets I have to be in a mood for and I find myself I can be in moods for either I enjoy cake I, but when I say cake I want I, I enjoy the horrible sheet cake every so often you get mm-hmm. from like Jewel Osco Safeway out here. Okay. A grocery store, sheet okay. cake, whatever. Of course, then there's the opposite. Susie Cakes. Amazing oh, cakes here in San Francisco. Man. They're just so fucking good. But those are even too sweet sometimes. Yeah. Pie, I feel like if I'm ever... A cake could come around, and I'm like, no. Nah, I don't like the look, looking at frosting. I don't like this. Pie comes around, I'm usually down with it. Mm-hmm. You got the mm-hmm. strawberry rhubarbs, your cherries, oh, your yeah. pumpkins. Oh, yeah. These are all great pies. But there's a couple other ones that I'm not that down with. What, what pie don't you like? like? Minced uh, meat? Pecan. That's stupid. That's a great pie. A pecan no. pie is amazing. Mm-mm. Arguably top five pies. Are there more than five pies? There's plenty of what pies. What are you talking about? Is more than... I like key lime. Key lime is amazing. But it's, it can be intense. Pumpkin yes. is just a league of its own. Lemon meringue. Lemon meringue. Oh. Also Dynamite. Intense. Dynamite Damn fucking good. pie. Yeah. Not a huge Cherry. fan of mm. What? what about apple, pie? Of what? Apple, yeah, apple pie. Apple pie. Apple pie is, pie is real special. It is real special. You get apple pie, you can put a little, little, little uh, vanilla ice cream on the side of that bad boy. A la mode, they call it. A la mode. Yeah. Come on, son. It sounds like we're all unanimous on the pie front. No, yeah, I don't like. I don't like. No, cake. I think cake's good. Cake's really, really, really good. But, you, but if I, I think, said to you right now, cake or pie? I think I would go cake. You really it takes go the cake? cake. Ah. Um, the biggest problem with the cake is the frosting, because yeah. your cake can be good, but the frosting can just, just not be right. So be there's a fine line between too much, too little, yep. too sweet, too sour. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then, uh, then just mess it up. Red velvet cake. Oh, I, I've had enough of it. What? It's time for it to go away. No. It's too. I, I don't. It's that's another one. You layer on that fucking sour cream, cream cheese yeah. frosting. Mm. Sour. See, I'm not a huge fan of the cake, but the cupcake. That's another story. Cupcakes that's are amazing. Thing. The Susie cakes cupcake, the red velvet cake is amazing yeah. because it's just the right amount of portions. See, the reason you don't like the Susie cakes, same reason I don't, is that you get about a quarter through a actual slice of the Susie cakes, Oof. and your teeth hurt. Yeah, too much. It's so much. It's yeah. really good. And then if you're like me, you power through like a man. And then you get to the next day, and you're just shaking the whole time. Not a big deal. We can deal with it. But, uh, yeah, no, I don't know. I, I look forward to every year Thanksgiving. Yeah. My mother makes pumpkin pie. She makes about, like, four of them. And between my brother and I, and I love them, we fight over them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. It goes before and after everything we eat. Sometimes it is just the meal. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'll wake up for breakfast there. and eat a slice of pumpkin pie, and then we'll go see a movie or something the next day after Thanksgiving. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here's what I want. I want to give a shout out to a pie restaurant, a pie organization. I just discovered when I went back to Columbia, Missouri, Peggy Jean Pies. Peggy Jean Pies. Now the thing about them, they're amazing pies. We discovered they they have this crazy story. They had been open when I was in school, but I obviously didn't know because I wasn't going to any bakeries when I was in college. Then they closed. Now they're back, better than ever. They ship now nationwide, and they do the whole thing where they make the pie in a jar. And then they cook it in a little jar, and then they ship it to you. And so then you open it, you have these little pies in these little what? jars. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'll bring this in the taste test next week. Ooh, this sounds yeah. amazing. They're amazing pies. Really mm-hmm. good. It was nice to find a little local establishment. But this is what I'm talking about, is that what we did is we were going to a barbecue that night. So we wanted to bring dessert. So we got a bunch of different mini pies. Not like tiny pies, but you know, like pies where you, you, know, you could split comfortably and have a bunch of different stuff. And every one of those pies was phenomenal. And it was like blueberry, strawberry, mm-hmm. rhubarb, Damn, pumpkin, cherry. That doesn't sound right. There's something else in there. There was another pie in there. It was good. But that's what I'm saying. Pies seem to go all over the place. Mm-hmm. Cake, I couldn't buy like three, four different little small cakes. And they wouldn't all be as popular as these pies were. 
I think pie is the superior dessert. No, I I, I don't think so. Totally disagree with that. I've talked myself into pie. You no, know, you put the you're putting <laughs> cakes places. People are gonna people are gonna eat the cakes. People are gonna eat them. They're but gonna they have get, their cake and they're gonna eat it. Yes, exactly. Mm. They're gonna like it a lot. It's they're gonna not gonna good. get destroyed, though. Is what I'm saying. And I don't agree with what you're saying about the cupcake being the right ratio. I think the cupcake is even worse than the cake in no, terms see, of frosting. The reason why the cupcake's great is because you can you can eat the cupcake and then if you want if you got a red velvet cupcake and a, li- a lemon cupcake in front of you. You don't have to choose. You can eat them both. And you don't have to feel mm-hmm. guilty about mm-hmm. it. Whereas, we like, still have you to get kind of feel Well, I mean, you just forget about it like everything else. Well, I'm just talking about the ratio of frosting to cake. And I see you're doing it wrong because I think there's more. I think that's the right one if you do it the Nashville way. Of course, everybody knows Scarlett on the TV show Nashville. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows her. Claire, so. mm-hmm. she's a real person Boom. on Twitter. Follower. Kevin put Claire's Twitter on there. But she, on the show, just, did this thing that has now swept the country by storm, where you break the bottom off of the cupcake, flip it on top, and make a cupcake sandwich. Mm-hmm. Then you're getting equal amounts of cake and frosting in the bites. with Because when you get the real cupcake, right, it's like all you're like, eh, eating like a weirdo. And then yeah. you inevitably end up then with a stump. Mm-hmm. Stump cake. Nobody wants That's no bad. stump cake. I don't want stump cake. We were talking about this before the show... A little bit, but muffins. I think muffins are really good. Yeah, muffins are OG. Sure, no, they're, 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 uh, I'm bringing the them in there, though. What minus the frosting? I know. No, I, I don't know really really with that. They, they are very different. Muffins are like the pie of the situation. Mm. But, but, I mean, you can't really bring muffin in. Muffins, muffins, more of a breakfast culture than no, it is a dessert blueberry culture. muffins at any time, any place. I think blueberry muffins are on my list of all time favorite things. Period. Like true love. Yeah, I just realized that's what it is. It's a blueberry, blueberry muffin. muffin. Yeah. See, and how much would I rather the that, ten million dollars? No, that, I'd rather the blueberry. That's muffin. the concern with the. What if? Muffins. Yeah, you do, you do the true love thing. It's mm-hmm. like, yeah, you want. Oh, true love is blueberry muffin. Yeah, your, your mother's love. And you're like, oh, I had it all along. <laughs> no, <laughs> this is, I already had it. Meanwhile, your mom gave up t- wanted the ten million dollars. Yeah, she's, she's like, like you're, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. Think about your retirement. I don't love you anymore. Ruins it. So I think we decided pies are superior desserts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good. I'm glad that's taken care of. We got a lot of problems to solve for the world here. There you go, guys. Good. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this episode of the Game Over Greggy Show. Remember, it's very simple. Each and every week, four, sometimes five best friends gather around this table. Each bring a random topic of discussion for your amusement. If you like that, we put the show up on patreon.com slash kindoffunny each and every Thursday night for your enjoyment. If you don't want to give us any money, no big deal. Head over to youtube.com slash kind of funny you get the topics there broken out one by one day by day for your amusement please subscribe we discovered today we were talking about this Mm -hmm. nick wants to or i'm sorry tim wants to start referring to us as oh internet superstars yes i said he cannot do that until we have a hundred thousand youtube subscribers hold on i want to back up a bit nope i want to earn it i don't just want to be referred to i want to earn it and i think we decided a hundred thousand followers is is i like i I want to earn it and you're like what 80 percent of the way there already yeah I think okay. I had your bet. He can. He's yeah. earned. But he feels like he's earned part of it. Already. Yeah. Yeah. I've earned eighty percent of it. Why? What? Like I don't understand. Like, what do you think was going to happen? Like twenty thousand people are going to watch this and be like, "Oh, good point, Tim," and just give it to you? Yeah. No, that wasn't going to happen. Tim First off, everyone. You know why they should believe? Right because we're making an announcement right now. This shit's fucking crazy. But by the time they're watching this, mm-hmm. the entire series of the Game Over Greggy Show will be on iTunes. Mm-hmm. Fucking yeah. bold no, claim. It's happening. I'm glad we buried that it's at the end of happening. this. happening. As I'm saying this right now, there are three episodes up. They are live. They are ready. It's been a secret. Some of y'all motherfuckers found it because you're sneaky as shit. Yeah, you're good at that. But Google by the time... So hold on. No, we're thinking about when this thing goes live. This gives me... Thursday night. This gives me three days. To be an internet superstar? Three, no, three you days. Have, you have tomorrow and most of Thursday, but you got to do Thursday as well. You have to do Today, this show on Thursday. Is it Today's Tuesday. 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 Well, okay, so tomorrow, Thursday. Yeah, no, we'll be fine. Okay. We will I like be it. fine. I like your bold claims. Mm-hmm. I'm saying that. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, on top of all of the things we've talked about, we launched that Patreon show for you. Follow the leader. Please go give it a like and a share and a subscribe. It's up on YouTube.com slash kind of funny. More episodes are coming. How many do we do, Nick? I'll follow the leader. Eight. Yeah. Eight, yeah. sometimes nine. No. Maybe nine. We'll see. I haven't got to the one where we where we uh, make <laughs> yet. We horsed around a bit. Um, <laughs> we'll see how that one. So they'll together. be rolling out. There's still more Oreos up our sleeves. Another show is coming. Conversation with Colin is coming back. We have the live event to plan. Still, there's plenty of stuff going on. On top of all the Patreon benefits, I'm thinking ne- oh, by the time this one, no, that wouldn't make sense. Next week we should release the exclusive episode, and then everybody's here for Thanksgiving week, right? Yep. Tuesday, yeah. I mean, oh, no, week, we, sh- yes. we should flip this. I'm sorry. So next week, we should do the Google Hangout. Next yes. week, we'll do the Google Hangout when we're ready to do this show. Mm-hmm. Then the week after that, which would be the last week of November-ish, the Thanksgiving week, we mm-hmm. would put out the exclusive episode as the Thanksgiving treat. Ooh. How about that? We'll call that it Pumpkin Pie. Mm. The That's episode. 
We're not going to do that. That doesn't fit our naming conventions at all. Well, it doesn't even matter because it's only for the patrons. Pumpkin pie the episode. <laughs> it's been a long day, hasn't it, Tim? Yeah. Long two weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long time coming how much we love you. I couldn't Greg way off that. I tried that really is. bad. That's the best I could do. I'm tired, not too. Not you much to work with. Guys, it's been a pleasure hanging out with you tonight. Thanks, Greg. It's been our pleasure serving you. Rolling, rolling, rolling. What? I keep, keep rolling. All right, put on your fucking headphones. Let's do a goddamn show. Yeah, I remember when Gray used to be cool. Do you remember that, Tim? It was like two years ago. Yeah. He was like, whatever you want to do, Scorpio, you know, you're cool. <clears throat> I don't remember mom. that. But it never actually happened, I think. <laughs>